Welcome everyone to the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ann. Ann. Eddie Ann Dan. My bet. Okay, here we go. You're, you're, I already <laughs> jumped my name and went right into Dan. Yeah. See, I'm supposed to go Eddie. This is Dan. Yeah. That's Melissa. That's I'm Eddie. Yeah, okay, here we go. I got this. Welcome everyone to the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen. I'm Eddie. That's Dan, and this is our special guest today, Melissa Reese, joining us all the way from Viroqua. This, of course, is episode two of our King of the Rye tournament, which we are featuring the entire month of July. And we're bringing in Melissa to be a tiebreaker judge, so there can only be one winner. So, we are blindly drinking these. We don't know what is in these glasses. I know which two they are. These two don't even know which two are up to battle today but I don't know which glass Eddie put them in. So we're all blind here, we're giving honest opinions, no preconceived notions or judgments, and we don't know what any of them are, so we can't talk about them beforehand, so I think we just kind of have to start tasting and smelling and... Yeah, well, let's get a stuff. nose on A. Mm, that's hot. I like that. You like this nose? Mm-hmm, I do. Kind of a candy kind of thing, starting out. When you breathe into the glass and it comes back at you, I feel it in my eyes. I should stop doing that. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> now that I started, I can't stop. I don't know if I want to go as far as like cotton candy, but it smells like... It certainly does have like, you sweet. know, that candied sugar, like that... Is yeah. it powdered sugar? Mm -hmm. Confectioner's thing going on? sugar. Yes, that's yeah. what I want. The confectioners, yeah. If you want to be fancy. It definitely has that thing going <laughs> on. powdered sugar. <laughs> powdered sugar, you know, Depends on if you watch The Great British Bake Off or not. Who's in that? British people. <laughs> Do you think British people would drink this? I don't see why not. Have you seen what they eat? They'll probably drink anything. Yeah. Like it. Okay, so I do have that sugary candy mm -hmm. thing happening, yeah. certainly. There's a little bit of fruit trying to come through. It almost gives me like a pixie sticks or like sweet tarts kind of vibe. You know <laughs> More I mean? sugar. But, but you know, like a little bit of that like tinge of fruity sour kind of thing with the sugar. Fruity sour. Not just like a straight up cotton candy kind of thing. Like... You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Is that like... But it's definitely sugar. Like, like a yeah. fruit punch, like sugary type scenario, maybe? When's the last time you had a Hawaiian punch? I mean, yeah. Is there like a Hawaiian punch thing happening here? I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. That's the one that comes in the can, right? And it's got the weird, like, dude with the the horns or something. Like, what's going on with his head? I don't know. Head? I don't know. <laughs> Is that like hair? Are, what is that? I think they're dreadlocks. Maybe. Are they? It's really good when you're hungover. <laughs> it always made my teeth like itchy. It felt I can like see that. you know what I mean. Like it like felt sticky on your teeth after you drink it. With a tinge of pink. Yep. Not quite red wine. We're teeth. both like we're both of you like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We all just did yeah. that. Mm, yeah. You know? <laughs> it kind of has a bit of that going on, though, right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit like subtle orange. Peel mm. notes, maybe. Blank Clink them and drink them. Cheers. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not, not at all. Least. <laughs> um, that might be a two sipper to get it. Uh huh. Mm, nope. I taste pixie stick at the very end. Yeah, a little bit second. So that sugary. Mm hmm. The first one, it just came through so much hotter than I was expecting. But like sniffing it again, that orange is like really coming through on the mm. nose now. I'm getting a lot of like bitter orange now. Yeah, I, I agree with that kind of citrusy element and bitter orange, perhaps like an orange peel. Pretty easy to drink. Pretty crushable, really. It's kind of caramely, and then it hits you. Caramely, I could see that. Then the caramely goes away really fast. Kind of gets dry I when can you see, drink You know it. what? I can see that. Like, A little oaky, like that dryness. Yeah, not too bitter. Definitely more sweet. I feel like it would do very well in like an old-fashioned... Yes. We're going to nose B. Nose and B. Ooh. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's a lot like A, but on steroids, though. Yeah, it's bringing in some heat. But there's something familiar, and I can't... Rubbing alcohol. <laughs> that, too. <laughs> like, I'm having a hard time getting past, like, the kick of it. Like, it's straight up rubbing alcohol to me. I want to say hair. almost like Twizzlers. Not black licorice, like red licorice. Like Twizzlers, red vines kind of thing. Maybe I, after we taste it, it'll it make more kicks. sense. When I put my nose in the glass, it's game over. I yeah. smell nothing. Yeah. You're just torching your sinuses at that torching. point. Torching. All right, clink them and drink them. 
Woo. Hot stuff. It's, uh... It, uh, yeah. It's like a hot pepper. Go <laughs> some Carolina Reapers right here. It is. <laughs> there's, there's some barn. But it has, like, weird amounts of sweetness as well. It's like if licorice could burn, like, sriracha. This is like college burn all the way College down. burn? Yeah. <laughs> Define college burn. <laughs> like audience. when you take a shot at the bar okay. and you are not expecting it and you just uh, feel it burn all the way yeah. down. Yeah. Still can't make much sense out of the nose versus how it tastes. It's getting that rye pickly thing happening. A pickly rye thing. Yeah, kind of tastes like a pickle. Really? Mm-hmm. Like a hot pickle? Yeah, maybe like a spicy pickle. Like, now that you've said it, I'm having a hard time not picturing, like, spicy pickle brine. But I don't know if that's just the image I'm getting in my head. But the more I talk and move wind yeah. through my mouth, like, I'm still getting that red licorice finish. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon, too. I don't know. Like, it's definitely mm -hmm. on the hotter side of the spectrum. The second sip did not burn all the way down, like the first. I think you're bracing now that you kind of know what to get. I like, you've now already I know what to for. expect. You've already preheated the oven. You're, you're good to go. Yeah, I'm just tasting hot peppers. Like I'm chili peppers, you mean? or like Almost like a jalapeno. Yeah, yeah. It lingers like, fresh, like a jalapeno. Like fresh or pickled? Like fresh. Fresh jalapeno. Fresh I can see that. Yeah, there is kind of a vegetal kind of thing. That's that earthiness I was talking about on the nose, I think. Yeah. You know? Should we A, B this? And yeah, like I, already, I already tasted you, A you again. A, so much fruitier. And that orange is really standing out now. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Very pleasant, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, that one I've said from the beginning, it's, it's crushable. Might just be because it was the first thing we drank while sitting here. Like at first, we're like, "Ooh, there's some heat on there," but now tasting, it's like there's no heat there at all. <laughs> Compared to this, <laughs> yeah, this one was like, this is like no, no, no. smooth and yeah. comfortable. Right, like from A to B, it's like, Wah! you know, you just it's like a kick in the mouth. Like it feels like there's almost like a static fuzz on my tongue <laughs> yeah you know like it's just hanging out there you're like, stuck between stations we like might the be gift that keeps on giving yeah but not a good one you, you don't like the gift you sure <laughs> don't like the gift. gift. <laughs> i feel like you know <laughs> it's like the hand knitted sweater that you got from your aunt mary that you put in the back of the closet and never bring out again <laughs> that's a very specific story i feel like that's happened do you think this is not like a july sip this would be like a January sipper. I feel like it's a never sipper for me. A yes, never it's a never. It's just me. I think we've got Melissa's vote. <laughs> <laughs> Should we lock in our rankings? So we'll start with Melissa. <laughs> Which one would you pick, A or B? I would pick the delightful A. A all day. Delightful A. All day. As we've described, it's a hot day. I need something crushable. A is my choice. I'm going with A. And I gotta go with A too, honestly. A unanimous champion. Our first unanimous, unanimous champion. I don't think B is bad. This one is just so perfect for the moment right now that But it I also can't. has balance. In the right. nose as well as the You know taste. what it's reminding me of is from last episode is like the Michter's 10. That juicy kind of... Like the fruity elements. Yeah. Our loser, B, was Alberta Premium Cask Strength Rye. Which was whiskey of the year. Which was of that fucking dork's whiskey bible. The winner. I never sip. Redwood Empire. Wolf. Okay. One California. Of the, one of the underdogs in the competition has shown out. And honestly, I really do think a deserving win. I even think in a cold ass month, you do these two side by side, I think I would still be picking Redwood. Now, Redwood Empire, that's like a sub $30 bottle, correct? Yeah, I like believe it's like... twenty seven ninety nine yeah. around here. Uh, at the highest I've ever seen anybody paying for it is like 35 depending on where you live and Heck alcohol yeah. prices. Value pickup. This was like 60 some dollars, which makes sense. It's it cask sense. strength, Canadian whiskey. And it's got the fancy um, bottle design. Look it's a weird-ass bottle. Like, it's got all this going on. Well, then it's got this going on. Oh, screw cast. Yeah. This is definitely an upset, like on paper. On paper, it's an upset, but I truly do believe that Redwood Empire 
just better in it, this matchup. It's a unanimous uh, winner. A possible bracket buster for those of you playing along at home. Well, I tell you, I mean, a lot of people talk this up. There, This was yeah. kind of like a fan favorite. Like right. People are like, yeah. you should get Emerald Giant. And we listened, and we threw it in there. Well, we want to thank Melissa for coming in today, judging with us, agreeing with us. Billy in the, <laughs> Billy in the back corner. Billy in, in the back, also. Now I'll just cut to us like three days from now for the next battle. We're back here after two days for the final battle of the first round of the King of the Rye tournament with our friend Justin here. Justin's a whiskey drinker, a guy that we just met because of whiskey, really. We've got Justin here to help us out again, so there cannot be a tie. There will be a winner in this final battle of the first round to see who's moving on. Right? Could one of these whiskeys be King of the Rye? It could. Technically, it has a shot of being the number one in the entire tournament. And Justin, you said you've been on a rye kick le- recently, too. I have. I've been on, on very much of a rye kick. I've been trying more and more ryes. It's uh, it's fun for me because it's different from bourbon in a lot of ways. You're already fancy swirling. Yeah, that being uh, said. Let's all fancy swirl then, yeah? We can just, Might as well. Let's do it. I guess we're going with the A one. Starting with yeah, A first. start with yeah. A. We'll just go in on the nose. This one initially, like, right off the nose, like, almost made me tear up. Oh, really? It's got yeah. a lot of alcohol burn to it. You got emotional? Yes. I kind of want to go honey on it, almost. Not intensely sweet, like some of the other ryes we've had thus far, though. More subdued. A little earthy. Like, other ryes we were having so far had more of, like, a uh, like sugar, cotton candy thing. This is a much more honey, yeah, earthy, natural kind of smell. Yeah. Me. There's a mint thing that shows up in a lot of ryes, and I want to say I'm smelling that. I could see a little bit of that. Like, the ethanol kind of plays into that. That it's like a menthol kind of thing. Yeah. But it's very like warm, this this smell that we're getting. You know, almost like a baking smell in a way. Some cookies or something, you know. Gingerbread, maybe. Yeah, or like um unfrosted cinnamon roll. There's something to that. There is almost you know like a I'm little saying? yeah, a little bit of a like bready a, aspect. There's you know I'm gonna say it's like uh it's giving me like ginger snap cookie vibes. Okay. Yeah. Like a, there's a ginger element to this. And you know those weird, like, aerated candy mints that everyone's grandmother has them try at some point or another? Yeah, like the free ones at restaurants. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, let's clink them and drink them, everybody. As much as we talked about ethanol and such on the nose, that drank real easy. Smooth. It didn't come through abrasive. No. You know? Very smooth. No real grit to that doesn't take much to drink it and those honey aspects that you had discussed in the nose really shine here i think and i'm not talking like the cheap like packet honey or the bear honey like it's kind of like that like fancier honey you know what i'm saying like <laughs> orchard honey orchard honey yes kind of a watery mouth feel yeah it. it does kind of slide through and i'm getting yeah. hints of like an orange blossom or something strange too mm. i think there's like some muddled like berry in there a muddled berry and then i'm thinking for me it reminds me of like andy's mints um a little bit anyways there's like a chocolate note that kind like of comes creaminess through. that like you like know, in the finish melts. like a milkiness almost the little bit of bitterness it does have comes through like chocolatey yep and then the finish gets kind of minty like, i think the mouth feel on this like kind of liquidy and everything yeah it's a little and watery mm-hmm. the flavor profile in general i think this would be a great mixer I think it. I think it would mix well with a lot of beverages. Yeah. If you're going with a rye whiskey, put it in like a Manhattan or something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I love a rye Manhattan. We've got kind of a baseline there. We can jump over to B. This is going to be oddly specific, but you remember when you were a kid and like it was exciting to like lick an envelope for your parents and put it in the <laughs> mail. Like you remember the smell of like. The envelope you were licking, the sealant, the, and like putting it on there. Yeah. This almost smells like that. You know what like, I'm saying? They had the ones that they were like almost lightly flavored <laughs> to be like slightly <laughs> minty. When you that's what them. I'm. That's what I'm picking up. Like instantly, the first smell, I was like, oh wow, like old school like envelope smell. I think I'm actually getting a bit of like a citrus scent on this one. Yeah, I was going to say, this one comes through fruitier on the nose than the first one, for sure. I'm also getting a little bit of caramel, but I think that plays with that idea of that like papery adhesive 
envelope thing that I was talking about. You guys had some tasty envelopes, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I am the son of a mailman. Yeah, so. you, you have only the tastiest envelopes <laughs> in our house. Remember when stamps weren't like self stick and you had to lick them? Yeah. What about of garbage? I actually had someone on my route once come up to me and be like, you know, when stamps basically became stickers, you made them worthless for collectors. I was like, you're the responsible one, right? Yeah, Shit, like, I didn't mean to do that. I was that. like, but like, are the old ones still worth money and stuff? He's like, not really anymore. I remember my grandma getting fired up about stamps. Like, oh, they got the new spring bird ones. And she had to go get the bird stamps. When I go to the post office, like to the clerk's office to buy stamps, they're always like, well, do you want these ones? I was like, will they get my bills in the mail on time? Yeah. Uh, just the just the, <laughs> like, just the forever ones is yeah, all Yeah, I like, I don't need, I don't care if they're Batman stamps. Like, no. I don't, Wonder Woman, fine, I don't care. Like, is yeah. it going to get my bill to where it needs to go, and then I won't, like, have collections after me? Yeah. Collections agencies yeah. after me, good. Okay, perfect. It could be like what I want. literal pictures of boners. I don't. I don't. Like, care. I, yeah, it's I don't just care. going to get. It's going <laughs> for get there. bill paying purposes yeah. only. I don't care. Yeah. I gotta say, it's a little bready. I'm, I can see that too. I'm getting that citrus. I'm almost leaning more towards lemony than orange. Feels a little brighter. No, uh, no, I'm thinking one thing because you mentioned lemony, and when I tend to smell lemon in a rye, I usually smell dill. Oh yeah, like pickly. Kinda. Usually they kind of pair together. Yep. They kind of show up in the same. Uh, yeah. You same know episodes, what? if you will. Briny. I've never thought of like a briny dill thing, mm. but like That's I a... could kind of see that. Yeah. But clink them and drink them yet again. Fruitier for sure. Mm-hmm. I am getting that dill pickle thing. Yeah. That briny. Little little um, bit of saltiness almost. Yeah. I am getting some dill notes like in the middle of my tongue, but the front of my tongue is kind of caramely sweet and then the finish though is like kind of like a big red gum it kind of reminds me of those um box lemon bars oh yeah yep. that you would put the powdered sugar on the top right. of you know okay yep. make them a small like eight by eight pan yep it kind of reminds me of that with like a dill thing mm -hmm. i feel like the finish hangs around longer really does kind of coat your mouth and even now like i'm feeling a little bit of a tingle on the back of my tongue and it's kind of just lingering as, like, cinnamon baked goods. I don't get too much cinnamon. I'm leaning way more towards the sour aspect of it. It's, like, the prevailing thing for me. Lemon juice, pickle juice, kind of. That's the overarching theme for me. B just seems a little bit more filling and a little bit more complex. With letting B sit on my palate for a while, and this is one of the weirder things I've ever said about a whiskey, but it's got like a jalapeno pepper thing to it. We actually said that with one of the ones on Wednesday. There was one that had a jalapeno kind of vibe, like a uh, vegetal peppery. Yeah. I, I could I could pick it up. Uh, it's like bell peppers, yeah. Yeah, not as much as that other one, but I understand what you're saying. It's like a sweet versus sour kind of thing. I could actually see that, and like, that does make sense. They're both great. Really, I mean, just down to personal preference yeah. on it, you know? I'd say this is honestly the most, like, opposed matchup right. of all of them, honestly. Yeah, no, it like, really is Like, the other ones, tough. we've had a couple other ones that are more, like, they're pretty similar, and you're just kind of picking which one you like. This one is truly, like, two very opposite ends of the rye spectrum, I feel yeah. like. All right. I'm locked in. I don't know about you, you guys. You are locked in. Oh boy, like Dan's oh. locked. Like Dan's not just locked in. Dan no, I, it, I like I Dan said, is locked in on the fence to where I had to take them both all the way down to really make the decision going back and forth. I'm just gonna have to go with B. I feel like that sourness is kind of a different thing going on for me, and it, it's really refreshing in a way while still being thick and substantial. B is my pick. I thought about this. Uh, very difficultly. It took me a lot of time. I had to confer with my constituents. Um, <laughs> I had to stamp it, mail it, get it reviewed. Um, Did you lick the stamp? I licked the stamp. <laughs> licked yep, the stamp. You my pick is B. I just think B was a lot more layered, a lot more complex sort of mature whiskey flavors that I would go for personally. I'll agree with you guys. B is a better, you know, B is where whiskey. it's at. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I hate it. I hate to be like... <laughs> With the grain, but <laughs> but it is a better pick. Let me just tell you how right I am, Dan. <laughs> and wait for it. Wait for it. A was indeed Sazerac rye. Oh, okay. So, 
Yeah, we can we can leave that there. <laughs> then by process of elimination, B was will it? Really? Get this the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's the final battle of round one of our 2021 King of the Rye tournament. Have you had any of the ryes we've had so far? Did any of these decisions surprise you? Do you disagree? Do you agree? Let us know in the comments. If you haven't already, hit like on the video, hit subscribe on the channel. That helps us out a ton. Keep them numbers going up. It's been a fun first <laughs> round. Looking forward to see what happens in the second round as we try to crown our king of the rye. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium for ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Billy's got to try it. Billy's, Billy's tagging on. in. He's I'm coming in. Tag in. in. The look on your faces is just, it's too intriguing not to try it. <laughs> yeah. You gotta try it. Why are you leaving? We want to know how you feel about it. That's what he does. The look on your face right now is what we were feeling earlier. Okay, Dan. Oh, it's, the, it's the look on your face for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>